What's up, HVAC crew? Welcome back to another episode of HVAC R&D. Riding and Dennis, no, we did not quit doing the podcast. We had to take a little break. We have a lot going on. It's summertime. You probably do too. Um, so if you're listening to this, it's Friday. We're going to put it out. And we have a whole lot to get to, a lot to cover. Ryden's been gallivanting around on some kind of vacation or something. I've took my dad to the bar. We just got a lot to cover. So let's get it going. Yeah, come on. I think we we well hell i constantly you can't act like it's that day <laughs> no and i constantly am uh promising shit like last time yeah the hat giveaway thing's going out on friday or saturday I just know. kidding the episode didn't get posted till monday but we got this shit let's do it yeah i'm like here's the here it is you're like all right i'll get it in there monday like what yeah but hey you know what speaking of hats and cool swag stuff uh, the uh, swag shop is in desperate need of a reorder, so uh, Dennis and I are working on uh, some fresh hats because uh, thanks to everybody listening and checking us out, we really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. Um, there's a couple of hats left in there, but a bunch are selling out quick, so get in there and grab them while you can. Um, are you we can get... on Instagram? Sorry, I didn't yeah, we, we definitely are on Instagram. We just got all of our approval to sell through Instagram and Facebook, so that's coming. Um, okay. We just, at this point, we uh, we need to get some new hats, boys. I don't know if I needed to re- talk to our purchasing manager on that or... Yeah, I think we oh, need to right. talk to... Oh, that's right. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Working on, on it. Get on that. Well, no, I seen on our Instagram, I, I clicked shop. And it just didn't do anything. I didn't know if it. Yeah, it's good. it's there. It's linked, but I've got a. You know, this is one of those I'm I'm still learning. Um, right. Dennis has learned all kinds of cool sound stuff that I don't understand. So, I'm trying to do my part and learn shit on the other side so that I continue to be indispensable since he does most of the important stuff. Well, it's 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 like HVAC <laughs> man. We we learn something every day. <laughs> That's right. Learn something new every day. And, uh, you know, it's funny, my, my grandma or, well, my mom's mom used to always tell me that same thing. She's like, you learn something new every day. And I'll tell you, old Cajun Joe has preached that my whole life anyway. Oh yeah. That's also why he's 81 and still runs circles around people. Yeah. My dad, same way. Always, uh, trying to learn something new. I remember when my dad got DOS for dummies, the book. <laughs> We got the far first like house computer and ah, geez, he was tearing that thing apart and I was right there beside him. You could get it to do anything. It was, it was so sweet. Like we're typing our name on the screen. Look at it. Look at it. It took like 500 different things to make the D, but we got it. (laughs) It's not capitalized though. Old zero dots. one zero 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 one one zero one 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 zero one what what yep <laughs> and then we saved it to a floppy disk it was like which sweet. is why and then you had lockable floppy disk cases well like a hundred floppy disks in it that didn't hold as much as like the first flash drive that came out that's <laughs> yeah it was it's, it was it's, uh it was megabytes wasn't it 
It, it wasn't was like gigs. No, it was literally like two megabytes or something crazy. Two. Or like three point five. <laughs> and now it's like I go to I was doing my expense report yesterday and uh it's like, sorry, we can't upload your photo. It's over five megabytes. I'm like, what? It's twenty twenty two. We couldn't even record our intro on that. No. <laughs> People are recording video podcasts two hours long. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, so, yeah. Welcome what, back, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. I know. I feel like we haven't put out a podcast in six months. Isn't that weird when you get, you, we skip a week, man. It's, it's, it's weird. I almost it's couldn't weird. figure out how to log on to the Zencaster thing here. Well, and we're also we're we're uh, we're testing out the new one, guys. Uh, one day maybe we'll add video. I don't know. That seems like so much more headache at this point. But you know, we might get bored one day this winter. Who knows? Yep. So we figured we'd at least start trying to test out the updated ZenCaster. Also, since you said we can put more people on here, right? It says up to 10. Sweet. Boy, that would so, be a party. Jeez. Dude. I don't know. Nobody's how we'd going to talk over that. anybody. <laughs> you, we'd Actually, if we did 10 people, we'd have to do video. Because otherwise, I don't know if everybody would know who I was talking. That would be kind I just, of uh, the H, the, uh, not H, the golf podcast I listened to. Of course, I only listen to them, their sound on Spotify. But yeah. Their latest episode, um, one guy's talking, and you hear the other guys in the background. Of course, they didn't edit it out, but they're like, oh, he's frozen. He's frozen. <laughs> but he was talking. He, the audio is always good. It's the video that's jacked up. And they're like, God, look at his mouth. It's just frozen open. <laughs> they're saying that, and he's still talking. <laughs> like He's still telling his whole story, and he gets done, and they're all like, so uh, face. you want to repeat? <laughs> oh, we didn't get none of that, man. He's like, what? He's like, no, you're frozen. I guess they use Zoom. It seems like it. Um, too funny. No, I don't know. They, it's on YouTube too. But so what's up? So I guess go through the hat giveaway. Well, here let's this beer's getting hot. I, need, I know. I need to crack this bad yeah, boy. Need, so right. what? What are we drinking? So I'm starting. All right. So well, it's summertime. You know, so I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm going with a land shark tonight. Nice, because it's a lager. Sense. It's a lager. Yeah. It's what you were drinking in the uh, the hat giveaway video. Oh right? yeah, so, hey, well appropriate. I got two okay. left. There it is. I, I keep um, a mixture there. It's a twist off, so I'm gonna see what that sounds like. So earlier this evening, uh, I drank the last of my black bear ale from Smoky Mountain Brewery so I'll give them a shout out but uh I felt like for a reunion episode Ooh. I just had to go to the old standby oh the I had to drink I had to drink a hitchhiker a hitchhiker I had to <laughs> alright here we go silence god that was horrible I what I couldn't get the I, lid off. I think. Oh, now that was good. Oh yeah, I tossed the cap over yeah, here on the, the desk. Cap toss is nice. Did it pick Solid. that up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good actually. Yep, old land shark, good with some lime in it too. I can't find it in cans. Only in Myrtle Beach can you get it in cans. Which, dang it! Speaking of that, that's something I didn't even talk about on the notes. Um, we gotta definitely talk about uh, another brewery too. We're we'll throwing everybody out in this one. Yep. What you got? I'll put that in there for later. Oh yeah. Gotta get there. That was a sweet spot there. <clears throat> um so yeah, uh hat giveaway. We were talking about that. So Land Shark Beer in the Hat Giveaway video. Um so congratulations again. If most people I I assume probably saw it. Um but you're starting to see um, everybody that did not win the hat. We're, we sent stickers to everybody, plus anybody else that's interacted with us over it the last couple weeks. So 
Um, I'm trying to make sure I repost everybody that that put this up. I really appreciate everybody doing that. If there's anyone out there that wants to sticker swap with us, drop us a line on Instagram and we'll hook each other up. Not a problem. Um, what's so funny speaking is, of that, we got to have something to put these stickers on because I don't have a service dude, I, anymore. I know. I was literally we just, just need a big ass whiteboard. I know. I was just talking to uh, to Chris about that at dinner. I was like, I don't know where to put these. Well, don't stick them on anything yet. So I was I, sticking not, some I'm of them, like Jeff's and... Uh, Which I still um, have an extra one of Jeff's, so we're still good there. Well, an HVAC Jess, I got some of hers. But right. I was sticking them on the my cabinet. And the hutch. The hutch at work, and I, I can't thought, take that with me. No, nah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That just, just seems kind of... It's kind of weird in there, but... Um, I won't yeah, we need to get a big whiteboard and start sticking them on there. Absolutely, I like it big whiteboard or like a big piece of glass i'd really cool. like to have a giant cut out the united states and stick them on there oh that's a pretty sweet idea i mean i could cut one out of plywood or something and just paint it uh, white like that an eight wasn't, footer <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound <laughs> terrible at all let's no. cut out the united states and paint it white good job d yeah, pa- <laughs> something I can see the stickers <laughs> on. Jeez, we're being a racist, right? Jeez, sorry. I have to be politically correct here. What are you mean, chalkboard? Sorry, PC, please. <laughs> so, yeah, the hat giveaway. So, uh, congratulations to first off to HVAC Chronicler because he he got tagged, man. He got hooked up. Right. And he got hooked up by our other good buddy from north of the border, the HVAC doctor himself. The doctor is in the house. The doctor is in. Insert HVAC foodie clip here. Yep. You'll get your hat in three to six weeks when the mail gets up there. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Sorry. I know Chronicler got his today, which is interesting. Funny story. I'll say it Um, worse. He's... He's in Connecticut. He's in Connecticut. He's actually, uh, he he sent me an article, which I ought to post up. It's pretty cool. Um, Because he works part of his time. He's a teacher. The other part of the time, he's head of maintenance at a building that's on the National Historic Registry. That's uh, like headquarters for um, an insurance company or something. But it was, the building is on the Historic Registry because it was the first two-sided building or some from what i can remember of it in i think hartford it's only got two sides on it it's only two sides it looks like a giant football kind of wait what i can't wrap my mind around this you got to back that up is there can we can we send can i send messages on here yes i can (laughs) all right hold on (laughs) yeah i'm I'm lost with that (laughs) Oh, that's a lot of notifications since I was on here a few minutes ago. Jesus. Oh, it's because you put up another reel. Dennis crushing it today. Yep. Fresh reel. Caught Corey making some... Uh, I told him he's got to get back in the studio and make some some, some background some. music. Which So the background music you're hearing currently is uh, a new fresh background Corey's making. Like Corey made for us. New fresh, way too many times. I ruined that one today. New, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to focus, and then all all I could see was the ranch and buffalo sauce oozing out of the sandwich, and it distracted me. Oh god, that sandwich was <laughs> solid, man. All right, where's the old chronicler at? I was craving a buffalo chicken sandwich. HVAC foodie got me wanting to break out the old deep fryer the little uh all right here it is the phoenix building sorry wasn't trying to interrupt you but i found it no you're good not uh, yeah so what do we got going on with this building i mean so connecticuthistory.org which it was honestly it was one of the coolest things about any time we do a giveaway or any of this stuff is it just gives me a few minutes to talk to different people um i know right. i've talked about it before but i was 
I really thought that I wasn't going to do HVAC in my life. I really had the plan to avoid it. Um, but yeah, that didn't work out, which I'm, yeah. I'm glad it didn't. Um, right. But originally, I, I wanted to be a history teacher. I was a history major. So anytime I get a chance to kind of blend the two things together, it's always fun to me. Um, but yeah, when that's I was what talking, he does. Yeah. So <clears throat> he had sent me this article from January of 2020 about the Phoenix building in Hartford. And it, I'm going to send you the link so you can see what I'm talking about. But I mean, it legitimately, you know, it looks like a kind of giant football. <laughs> it also looks kind of like, if you remember, what was it? Hunt for Red October. When oh, they, okay. When they, when they punch the, uh, like the, I guess you would call it the mast or the upper part of the submarine up through the ice. That's, That's kind what of what this like. thing looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you can picture, draw the shape of a football on the ground and then just raise it up, raise it yeah. all up. And uh, surround it with mirrors. Or not I mirrors, not, but glass. I could not picture that when you said it like that. Because uh, it's kind of hard to describe in a way. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's he's the head of maintenance on that building. I was trying to zoom in and see what was on the top of it. It is known technically as an elliptical lenticular cylinder or a lenticular hyperboloid hyperboloid now you sound yeah. like kylie hyper, hyper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kylie yeah hyperboloid <laughs> she will jack up some words i was doing good till i got about halfway through it <laughs> lenticular hyperboloid I mean, I feel like I, I crushed the lenticular cylinder or lenticular hyperboloid. There we go. Boom. Well, Say I that had trouble. I had trouble making the hat giveaway video. I had trouble spitting out chronicler. Like, plain. <laughs> dude, I don't even want to talk about headaches. Making HVAC that chronicler. Video, okay. <laughs> I took. That was some good outtakes you made. Dude, there was probably another 20 minutes. Kill I me. literally made them in one take. It's because you're the fucking man, D. Tracy's like, you you doing that again? I'm like, no, nah, run it. That's it. I'm not. Tracy, my get dad, your hand my, out of the video. My dad was in town, and uh, he sat there sitting on the golf cart. Tracy's videoing me make this hat video, and he's like, what in the hell are y'all doing? I know. He has I no have... idea what I'm even doing. <laughs> I just started making a video, and I started talking, and he's just sitting there having a beer like, huh. And he's like, why have you got Canada on a box? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, what are you doing? I'm like, guy, want a hat? Giving it, what's a giveaway? It's on Instagram. He's like, it's on what? I'm like, God, here we go. I know. I have to say thank you. Thank you, Kristen and Tracy, for filming us. Yep. Be idiots. <laughs> Did we ever talk about on the show? Man, there, when we have a gap in in a po in an episode like if, i mean uh yeah if we have a week off yeah i feel like we <laughs> i can't keep up with what we talked about um did we talk about your dad calling in that day and you trying him trying to send you a fax oh my god i don't know if we talked about that i don't know if we did either that was so funny i mean i was about to piss my pants <laughs> he's like right i sent you a fax up there you're like and immediately you're 12 years old. I'm standing there. You forget that I'm standing there. And you're like, Dad, we don't have a fax here. There is no fax. Yeah, I sent you a fax. It said it went through up there in Charlotte. You're like, I'm in Charlotte. We don't have I'm a in, fax. Like, I'm in Charlotte. Yeah. But there is no fax here. In the we fax don't have machine, a fax. Or in the email that the fax machine goes to because. Oh, that you said that. Sense. That went over his head. That just. Bad. <laughs> you were like, just. <laughs> <laughs> the was like, best was when you said was like, send me the plans <laughs> screenshot like, it and send me the plans it's like can you send me a list he goes oh, yeah but if I screenshot it it won't be to scale when I, I died. It, <laughs> it won't work a quarter inch won't work no a like, quarter inch no. won't work <laughs> <laughs> so then I <laughs> and then I played of course I got kids so uh, 
all <laughs> these animated movies with the adult humor. <laughs> so all I could think about is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. And old, <laughs> old Flint's in trouble, and he's got to get his dad to send him an email. And he's like, Dad, go to my desktop. And his dad has always just worked in a fish market, like a bait shop. Clear the desktop. Yeah, he's like, just drag it across the desktop. And his dad just cleans the desk off. It didn't work. Mouse. It didn't yeah, do anything. It didn't work. <laughs> no, just drag it. And that was riding. <laughs> oh, that was riding all day. I lost it. Dude, I'm crying. You had him on speaker. And he, he was, he was F-bombing and... I said it to the facts. You're like, there ain't no fact. And there's a guy in the store looking in there like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> and like, he just did. He just kept getting more irritated. I'm like, I'm trying not to get irritated with you, but this is not working. Dude, my dad called me today and said, I got this, I got this red light on my thermostat. I'm like, well, this is getting ready to be an hour right here of my day. I said he's got the eight three two one old uh the Pro classic 8000. yeah the classic Pro eight thousand no no, no he's got the new one no it's it's Wi Fi yeah I put him in the good one um, Focus Pro and it's got the red light at the bottom corner I said well, what does it say and he said well the internet guy had to come out and had to run a new wire and. Man, this thing, I can't get it up on my phone. My app's not working. I thought, holy Jesus. I said, all right, well, let's go through the settings. This guy sets up a tripod with his phone. I'm thinking, man, why can't I get text to do this? He sets up a tripod. I have no idea where he got this tripod. And I he FaceTimed me, and the thermostat fills up my whole screen. It's like, I literally almost touched my screen to move something on the stack. <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> but it's him, you know, touching it. He's like, all right, where do I go? And I'm like, all right, go to this setting. Next, next, next. Heat pump, air to air. We're going through the whole thing. Get to the Wi-Fi, and he's like, it's like searching for his, you know, his modem. Gotcha. And, and can't find it. He's like, I know it's in there. I mean, this took all day. It took all day. I had to call him back. Um, he finally typed in the... <laughs> he had to type in the password. It's on the modem. It's like 25 digits long. Oh, gosh. It's like an That's ass a symbol, a number. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster for he anyone. He did that wrong three times on the I'm stack. sure. I thought that was an I. I think it was a J. I, That's like trying to copy a UPS tracking number. Yeah. It's. So we finally got it. And uh, he's back up and running. It literally took all day. I had to take a break from his call and catch service calls, you know, tech support calls. And then I had to hit him back. And he's like, you got you got a minute. We got we, we got to get back on this. I'm like, Dad. You just don't have the app. You're good. Your air's working. You, you, yeah. Just drag it. Just drag it across the desk. <laughs> so, now, the funny thing was, he did, did I ever tell you, he did finally send me a list. No. All right. I so, would never follow up on that. So, so when, dang it, I feel like I got to forge you this thing if I still got it. So, when Cajun Joe sends a list, it's always the same way. He takes his whatever piece of paper he's got, and then he busts out the ruler, and he makes sure he draws himself some nice little pretty columns so he can write his stuff in. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna Dad. have to bust Sorry, to the bus. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. not listening to the show. He no. I doubt yeah. it. Oh, here it is. Oh, he did send me the plans. I'll send you them too. You can also see the. The, are they, are they seventeen thirty seconds of scale? <laughs> Lord. Probably. I mean, oh, I'm sure it probably is the scale. Is, it's probably better than him sending it to you on a piece of sheetrock or a two by four. I'm surprised it wasn't on a piece of scrap metal. I mean, some of these guys roll into the. 
So here's a set of plans coming at you. Oh. Now, oh, man, I'm assuming nice. Now I'm assuming this is what was faxed to me to scale but never arrived. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then this is the list. I and it's blurry. I can't read. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's because you have an iPhone, and I have an Android, and our phones hate each other. It's because you have an Android. It's not because I have an iPhone. <laughs> I have always had an Android. I never I changed. <laughs> I stayed the course, kind of like certain people that energize in heat. That's right. <laughs> Help AC. All right. Oh, that's get... a sweet list. Now, can you actually read it, or do I need to go put it in Dropbox for you? No, I like it. Now, yeah, I can read it. Okay. His so, writing is how we used to have to write in drafting class too. It's now it's all caps. I like that. I love that. You know, he has his his item number one, two, three, four, five down the side, and he has quantity to the right of it. <laughs> now, the but the best part is go down to item number 19, the last item, because he's running out of room. Yeah. So his last item is one 15-seer heat pump, air handler, 10KW, 50-foot 50, <laughs> line setting pad on one oh, item. Oh, yeah, all that. Yeah. <laughs> that's three <laughs> items, Joe. I'm going to have to call him on that. <laughs> no, that's five, actually. But uh, okay, i got this list yeah. there. And it says it's got one a little of, discrepancy here. You got... <laughs> I got 19 <laughs> items, but there's five on the last item. <laughs> I've got, we've got to have him on the show one day. We will do. We will laugh so one, hard the whole time. <laughs> two rolls of two inch plastic duct tape. Hmm. He's talking about, uh, 181 or DC 181. If it's sure tape or venture tape, whatever you want to call that Mylar stuff. <laughs> Oh, see, I didn't even, I, yeah. One roll of three-inch fiberglass insulation. Which actually shocked me because he hates that stuff. He usually prefers Reflectix. Right. But <clears throat> one these, sheet of 4 by 8 26 gauge. Is that beaded or non-beaded? Oh, he don't need beaded, baby. He knows how to cross break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to ask him that. He'll cut you out. That's a good t-shirt right there. I don't need beaded. I can cross break. A six inch rat take off. The old in, parenthes round in parentheses. <laughs> yeah, rat. <laughs> radial take air takeoff. It's a it's a radial air takeoff takeoff. Yep. I <laughs> uh, love you, Dad. So yeah, basically this episode is gonna be wormhole city because uh yes. <laughs> We got so much to get into. All right, we got to get into what you had going on. Hell, I don't even have a note to pull up because I put that daggum article in the way. Hold on. No, that's Miss Libby. Right. <laughs> that's a whole other conversation. Yeah, Miss Libby, that's mine. <laughs> Poor Miss Libby. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> it's really a good. It's really a good uh, segment, but it says riding in Cherokee. When'd you go to Cherokee? Oh, that's right. You went. So, uh, uh, worldwide since I've talked to you, I know two and a half. So, it it sounds like I well, somehow no, we talked since you went to Cherokee. Yeah, we just didn't really talk about half anything we did really, right? Um, because we went up um, one because I just I really needed to spend some time with my mom. So we saw her some while we were there, and also Kristen and I really just we haven't had any kind of real vacation at all since about may of last year since you know you kind of got into hvac yep <laughs> well and, and it, it oh, kills me like, yeah like people call the store and they're like well why'd you let him have off well he he gets a day or two it's a i mean does he I mean, no he, no two weeks <laughs> no yeah. we get none and then i laughed oh. so hard it's like the two times i was gone in two weeks we were. I was gone a total of five days in a two week, roughly two and a half week period, and this is the only five days I'll be gone in ten months. <laughs> and in that time period, one guy called me on two of the days that were off, and then called the store bitching 
that I didn't immediately answer his phone call. I was like, really? One, listen to the voicemail. Right. I had to change my voicemail. Well, I've been having to do that because I'm I'm catching Georgia and North Carolina. But, um, you know, I feel like I got to at least let them know that I'm. And that's and that's what I do. Not available. I mean, they just don't listen to it. They'll just call me three times and then. (laughs) Well, I've had. Yeah, I've had some that don't let it. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) I can't help you there. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I can't... Um, I can't help solve a problem if you don't tell me what it is you're trying to solve. Because whether whether I'm on vacation or not, if I can't answer the phone, there's a reason I didn't answer it. It's not that I don't want to talk to you or anything else. I'm either... More than likely, I'm either on the phone or I'm in a meeting or I'm you know on the forklift right now or something else. Right. Um, I will call you back. Well, and some of my... <laughs> Some of my guys that I talk to on a weekly basis, right? They'll just shoot me a text and say, "Hey, man, is this is this right?" Or, um, "Will this thermostat work for this?" And I can just say, "Yeah, man, you're good there." Um, or I could send them a link real quick or a video or something. But, uh, you know, a lot of the Georgia guys, I don't, I don't know the contractors. So, yeah, that's true. Um, that's another segment on here i'll get into that later but uh well and a lot of times too like i can the same way you can knock out send them a link to something there's a lot of times i can knock out a price real quick if i'm on the phone because i can still do other things but you know if i'm just on it i can't pick it up well if i I answer a call a tech support call it might be 45 minutes yeah it might be 10 minutes it might be an hour i mean so on vacation or something like that i don't want to try to attempt that and i don't want to rush them off because they're if i answer the phone they're they're ready yep. i mean well sometimes sometimes they're driving and it's like what do you think this might be when i get there <laughs> i don't know i don't know Call i actually like i actually take those as a challenge a lot of tech guys <laughs> don't like that and i said all right so what was the sound and what did the homeowner say and i said all right this is what it's gonna be it's <laughs> gonna be this call me back <laughs> and they're like you son of a gun that's what it was or they call but then they don't man. call you back <laughs> oh no i'm calling them back i've got to know because that's that's a challenge mm-hmm. man i'm headed out to this thing said the blower's running but it's blowing hot air the outdoor's not they don't think the fans turn and what do you think it is? And I'm just like, are you seriously calling me like that? I'm like, all right, this is what it's going to be. I mean, they'll, it's the gospel though. They get there. They're like, man, you said it was going to be this. I'm like, dude, you were driving in your van. We were just guessing. I mean, come on. Yeah, but I guess I'm a pretty good guesser. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Not a lot of guessing over the years. But see, that's that's the trick, though, guys. It's better to guess and then go find out the answer than just assume what the answer is. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that. They're just wanting to get a plan before they get there. You know, they're yeah. basically just thinking out loud. No, and you gotta do that. You always got to do that. It's hard to it's hard to figure out a lot of things in this business without just bouncing it back and forth, whether it's sales or service. Well, and I've built that on my own. I mean, I can't blame nobody but me for that. that the guy that. <laughs> comfortable, <laughs> you know, wanting to call or whatever. You don't call. I always use uh, mini split companies as an example, but I mean, you don't call. Mitsubishi and be like hey I'm headed out there she said it was making a weird noise what do you think it is yeah what are you doing over there what do you mean what am I doing does it sound weird yeah you're dang it sorry I accidentally knocked part of a mic loose here I'll mute it while I fix it keep talking no so anyway yeah um 
I always hate to be, I don't, I don't want to beat up tech support, other tech support on here. Cause everybody appreciates everybody on here, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I get a kick out of that. Um, several right, guys call me. Yep. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Several guys call me like, Hey man, I'm driving out there. Remember that I talked to you about it last week? Well, it's doing that same thing again. What do you think it is this time? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a stab at it. They're just kind of, you know, they're just driving and wanting to talk tech support. That's all. All right. So what do you, what, what did you have going on? So, uh, one of the things was I got, I know <clears throat> when we were up there in February and then you were back up where at March, oh, mm-hmm. speaking of where we were, uh, Chris and I stayed at, at Harris in Cherokee. Um, usually we stay with mom and dad, but honestly, we really just wanted an extra couple of days of just us two because we not had that on vacation either. Right. Father-in-law was watching the dog, so I don't know what that's like most of the time. <laughs> Um, so it was nice to have a little bit of extra time together. So we got to check out all the new stuff they've built in the casino. Um, I can't remember if I told you, but I did find another bubble crafts machine. Oh boy. So they do have two now, plus the, the cool, uh, board or excuse me, not board, but the regular, uh, table. Right. The digital. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause this one. Like, there's one over by the the uh, new poker room like we had seen. But then there's also another one closer to the sports book on the other side now. Yep. And then... I got my also, crabs fixed this year. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we ate at uh, Guy Fieri's restaurant, which she and I had eaten at his is one that's at the link in Vegas and this one here in Cherokee had some of the same menu items. And honestly, it was it was really dang good. What was on there? Just Honestly, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I will say he, he came in doing all kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. So I mean, the burgers are really good. Um The only thing I would say is sorry guys, but the steaks for what they are are way overpriced. The market really? price on the steaks was really high. If I'm spending sixty bucks on a steak, ooh, it it's tough when the rest of the menu items are like fifteen to nineteen. That's kind of hard. That doesn't yeah, really. You fit almost got to cut it with a fork, literally. Yeah, I mean that's just where I'm at. So you know, we went. I went the burger out because I'll tell you, if I'm going to spend. Thirty dollars on a steak. I'm going to Smoky Mountain Brewery, boys. Yep, melt in your mouth. Um, and I, that almost is enough left over for the gas to get me there and back. <laughs> Just about <laughs> these days. No, not <laughs> probably no. not. Probably not. No. If I was in your truck, no. I got a little Come extra on, help with my little four cylinder. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting that, but give me my thirty two. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tracy's getting like 24 in the Mustang. She keeps it. Now, what does she got it in like? Uh, she doesn't keep it in sport mode. She She's keeps it like in economy. A blue hair. Keep it in economy. Yeah, economy. It's yeah. It's. I always, <laughs> dude. I, I used to die laughing. Uh, a friend of mine had a old Volvo station wagon. In high school. Oh man, I would love to have one of those now. <laughs> and that thing, and I died laughing because it said sport or it had a sport mode. And I was like, it literally doesn't feel any different. Just say no. <laughs> it's like, what is this accomplished? Does it make me, does it just make you feel better? Like, I put yeah, in sport just, mode in my station wagon. Hey. Yeah, why <laughs> does that have sport mode? <laughs> I just I never I, understood it. <laughs> Tracy's Mustang, if you put it in sport mode, it shifts. <laughs> The it shifts harder. The steering wheel is, changes stiffness. I mean, there's a lot going on. Well, I mean, it makes um, sense. Sports car. I mean, Kristen's Kristen Stinger's like that. Listen to us and our giving us our wives their sweet sports cars. 
Yeah, I know. Aren't we man. good husbands? Pat ourselves my, on the back. My truck has the same transmission as hers, the F one fifty, but I put it in sport mode. And it's just like, yeah, uh, uh, and I'm like, God dang, like this is not comfortable. Because you don't, it just don't seem the same. It just don't feel right. Like I don't want my truck banging gears just driving up the road. Like it, it don't no, fit it. Not. All right, so oh, yep, yep, there we go. It's a it's definitely at least a two beer episode. Two, yeah, we're. Yeah, we got a lot to get. We got a lot to get to here. All right, so. So yeah, uh, we fil- filmed the uh, the hat giveaway first video up at Clemens Dome on the mountains because we hadn't climbed up there, climbed up there, haven't drove up there and hiked it in forever. Dude, I thought I was gonna have a freaking heart attack. I was gonna be proud of you if you hiked up there. Oh we, well, dude, it's a half a mile hike up to the freaking tower. Mm. Did I not show you? Well, dude, we the ain't video seen each was other. Sweet in the background. Oh, and that was down in the parking lot. I tried. I honestly tried filming it up top. The freaking wind was blowing so loud you couldn't hear a damn word I said. <laughs> wow, it was ripping up there. Um. So so where we're moving to, we're going to be an hour from. You know, Boone, hour from Banner Elk, Asheville. I'm going to start kind of, you know, doing a little more mountain stuff. You got to, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's good. There's, It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother uh, little deal up there. You know what I mean? The breweries are cool. Waterfalls, you got trails everywhere. Wanting to get into a little more camping. I think Kylie's going to like some tent camping. I think she will too, actually. Some kayaking, you know, stuff like that. Try to get into that. What do you got on here about the Knoxville Zoo? Uh, So, I had, I'm trying to think. Oh, you went to that before you went. No, no, we actually went there. So, we went up Sunday... Went to dinner, then went and spent some time with mom and dad. And then the next day we went over up to Clemens Dome and then and drove the, uh, and then ate at the brewery. And then we drove the parkway for a while. Um, just cause I hadn't in forever. It's just, God, it's so gorgeous, man. I, f- I oh, forget, I, I forget how beautiful it is not being back there. And I've, that's the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah. Yeah. And I swear, I've, the older I get, the more I appreciate it. The more I wish I'd appreciated it more when I was younger. Um, yeah, we didn't care no, about just, that shit when I was little. No. We were in the back of the Volvo station wagon. We couldn't even see it yeah. anyway. <laughs> That's it. Sport mode. <laughs> See, I used to run, crawl thing. around and run around the back of the car, like lay down on the floorboard. No seat belts. I mean, oh, I'm man. not that old. And we... No, I remember hanging out in the back of the mom's Buick LeSabre and uh, driving my Hot Wheels and my monster trucks around the, like the thing over the trunk in the back where the, like yeah. there's always that big open space. You, I was about to say, you could, <laughs> I could crawl up there and yeah. lay down in that when I was a so kid. Like, yeah, so I always would set everything up and I would use the, the hump where the light is. That was the jump for my monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, whoever grew up with the station wagons where you in the back you faced backwards, <laughs> you, you faced out the back, you know the bench seat. Yes, oh, killer. Like the old uh, Wally World, vac- you know National Lampoons. <laughs> oh, and Edna strapped to the top. The station wagon. Oh Lord! Now we never had the station wagon. We had, from what I can remember, I know when I was born mom had a jeep and then she traded it because while she was while she was pregnant she was freezing to death she's like yeah this is not a good idea <laughs> yeah she got, kinda, i mean so she traded it for uh some early 80s buick that i remember was just like the ugliest color brown ever oh it was, it was so bad <laughs> it was sick back then <laughs> it was so brown bad. with tan interior Yep. 
it was like an 82 Buick and then later that's what she traded for the 92 I remember getting it at Scott Rhodes Scott Rhodes in uh, Dillsborough which is if you saw Bryson City and Silver were small it's it's the little road bump in there between them but that's that's like the car lot where the guy comes out with a plaid suit on sells well, you a car no man but but then that one that was like one of the well to do ones right there mm. all fancy the Buick dealership no everybody's in a suit <laughs> that was when people knew what Buick was right I remember <laughs> now it's like you'd say Buick and someone's like what a what what's a Buick who Turn makes that? Buick, you throw it up. Who who makes that? <laughs> Jim Motors. So, well, we, yeah, had, so anyway, uh, we had we had we had Memorial Day, not Labor we, Day. We did. We still what skipped the zoo. On? I was gonna say we still skipped the zoo. We did skip the zoo because we're enjoying beer and hanging out. Um. Oh, you showed me a bunch of pictures of the zoo. So there was one thing that I'll say this. All right, here's a mom tip. This is going to be a great episode uh, short. But anyway, mom tip. Uh, the Knoxville Zoo instead has, not only do they have little automated hand sanitizer things everywhere, they have automated little sunscreen dispensers. Wow. Now for a pasty person like myself. Oh yeah, riding's pasty. Dude, that's perfect, you know. Man, my neck's getting a little warm. Let me uh, Cas- old Casper. Get a little, you know, old Casper rats. I'll get myself a little, <laughs> a little rub on right there. Make sure I'm not getting too cooked and toasty. But no, I sh- I thought that was really cool. I've not seen that. No, that's a anywhere. Better, yeah, that's anywhere. Um, now, mom used to take mom. My mom was a kindergarten teacher, and she used to take her kids to the Knoxville zoo every year. So she went like 40 something times at least. So it was funny kind of going back. And then I remember we brought her, we brought her like a little souvenir sticker and stuff for a magnet. Cause everywhere we go, we bring her a magnet for her fridge now. Cause at my parents age, what the hell else do you buy them? No, that's a good point. You know, I mean, trying to buy somebody in her family, a, a birthday present and they were you know 65 70 years old retired they when they want something they buy it so what do you get that person yeah. you know and it's you like, really try to find them something personal and you can't no so that's that's what we attempt to do so like mom's always collected alligators so we bought the knoxville zoo alligator magnet <laughs> um nice and cheesy but, they still doing puzzles up there? Uh, they got a puzzle going? No, she doesn't. I wish she did, because I know that would help. Um, she's really not doing so hot, unfortunately. I know. They had a puzzle going when I stayed with riding up there, or stayed yeah. with them. My my mom's like tradition always was to have like a 2,000-piece spring bot going at any given time, it seemed like. And then especially like when I was a kid, you know, any spring break or winter break, like, was the excuse to clear the dining room table and mom's putting a puzzle out. Oh, yeah. We had one going in my house growing up. So people would come over and be like, hey, what's going on? They'd just sit down and start putting the puzzle together. That, yeah. You just work oh, on it. Oh, I put two pieces in. All right. See y'all later. Yep. Actually, and our mom gave me one and we put it together. Well, and I remember doing that. Like, that's the way my friends were, like, growing up in the summer. She, she'd work puzzles all summer. Um, when she wasn't doing stuff and friends would come over to the house and we'd just sit in there and we'd just sit there and talk and hang out with mom. And she'd it's talk like, to us. I mean, it was, this is different man. for back then. It was, it's just mindless something to do. Yep. But slightly more productive than, cause it actually keeps your brain a bit more engaged than scroll, scroll, scroll. Yep. I'll take time. But no, uh, I miss watching her do puzzles. I really wish she would try to get at least back to it because I think that would help help some of her her headaches with Parkinson's and stuff. But 
you know, it's... It might help. Yeah, I mean... I hope so. We'll figure it out. Yeah, well, on that somber note. Sorry, everybody. Um, but yeah. You said yeah, you showed me that video of... So yeah, we... The otters Knoxville, chasing yeah, the HVAC yeah, R&D Zoo. hat. Back, yeah, Knox, <laughs> back to Knoxville Zoo. Um, outside of the cool handy-dandy uh, sunscreen things. They've got a brand new kind of... Well, it's new to me. I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but it's not very old. They've got a brand new like otter exhibit when you walk in. But this little otter just like hooked onto my HVAC R&D hat, and I just ran him all around the, the dang thing with it for like 30, 40 seconds. He's just running around everywhere after that thing. <laughs> yeah, I see the video. He was... Uh, he's like, throw that thing in here. I'll, I'll, I'll make quick work of it. I know. And then that little kid in the background was like, he likes the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the hat. <clears throat> yeah, I want to. I haven't been there. I have never been to that zoo. I'm about to check now it out. We want to go back sometime later in the year because they do like I don't know how, if they. I think it's called Brew at the Zoo. So they op- They like transition from daytime to adult, like nighttime around five or six and they have like Sweet. every week is like either a different brewery or a different like set of food trucks and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're still trying to find who's going to make the HVAC brew. We're getting there. We will figure it out. Somebody's going to make a lager sour ale or a lager and a sour. Cause I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you about always combo. say that every time I say that you're like, I don't know yeah, we, can do, we can do a lager and a sour. <laughs> I just I don't know how those two blend. Probably no, they're not. I don't think, they're I don't not going to work. So speaking of that, my yeah, my so my dad came down for Memorial Day. Tuesday to Tuesday, he got to. Uh, see Kylie graduate fifth grade that was fun um took him to the bar he's we got our our little local john's place uh dart bar pool table so we threw some darts did a little karaoke um he had a little headache the next day but he was Mm. good i threw it um how was that Hunt Brothers pizza? Oh yeah, the gas. <laughs> so this bar has a gas station attached to it, and the gas state. So the bar doesn't serve any food. The gas station does have fresh Hunt's Brothers pizza. So I always get thin crust, lots of meat. It's lots of on the thing. L O T S A. You check it like you're. It's like lots you're picking of. lottery numbers. <laughs> You check it, you know, check thin crust, and you just check lots of meat, and it's full of meat. Me, give me 15 minutes, it's coming out. <laughs> so whoever's running the register for the gas station has to run back there and make it. And then you walk next door, grab your pizza, walk back into the bar, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's always just amazing. I, don't, I think it's the atmosphere and the beer, maybe, but. I just don't feel like I'd come home on a Monday, run up there and grab one of those. It would be as good. No, <laughs> you know? it wouldn't. So it's it not wouldn't. a bad pizza though. It's fresh. I mean, it's a, it's fresh. It's only gone frozen. through a yeah, pizza. Oven. Frozen free times. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want to get to some HVAC here. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Is this an HVAC podcast? I, th- I, I couldn't remember. Maybe it is. I mean, talk about it a little bit. We'll sprinkle it in there. Sprinkle it in. <clears throat> All right, so my neighbor across the street, Miss Libby. Not yes. Lippy. Not Dang to it. be confused with Miss Lippy from... Billy Madison. My Billy bad. Madison. My bad. Sorry. Now that's in my head. Don't put glue on your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a really freaky scene. The puppy um, who lost its way. <laughs> <laughs> so Miss Libby across the street from me in the townhomes, she's by herself. She's 83. We'll give her 83. Um, she still gets around. She goes to some shagging stuff. The She's in a shag club. She gets, she's part of the moose lodge, all kind of shit. So, but she, uh, she knows what I do for a living. So she come, I'm out in the driveway, kind of hanging out. She's drinking a beer. Here she comes. It's the bee bopping on over. Oh yeah. She don't just come over to chit chat. (laughs) She's got a plumbing, electrical or HVAC problem. One of the three. So here she comes and she says, uh, yeah, I've got, a my coal, my, my HVAC system's not working. And, uh, I, I see some guy, I seen, I seen a guy come over there, never recognized the company, really small, just like company was written on the side of the van with a Sharpie, right? Like the letters you buy from Home Depot and you just stick them on there. Um, Saw him over there forever. Thinking, mm. God, what is he? You know, I'm. I want to know what's up. What's up with it? It's killing me. Um. So he's over there forever. I see him come out with a transformer, and then he goes back in, and and these are eighty percent gas furnaces with ACs. Pretty simple. <clears throat> um. So he's over there, and then the next day, there's another company over there, really large company. Um, largest one in our town, probably. And so she comes over to me and she's like, yeah, so this, you know, the company put the system in nine years ago. My coal's leaking. It's still under warranty, but, um, she's just getting advice. You know, she's like, they're wanting to charge this or wanting to charge that. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's, that's fair. She's like, you don't. Yeah, but he wanted to charge this, and he wanted to charge this. And I said, look. And this is where homeowners just kind of miss it, right? I said, the other guy that, you know, <clears throat> Bob's Heating and Air that showed up with the <laughs> letters on the van. We'll just call it Bob's Heating and Air. No offense to anyone named Bob. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I said, you know, he's going to charge this, and that's fair for him, right? Like, that's what he requires. And then you have this other company that uh, showed up that's, you know, they got 100 technicians. I mean, now, they can come out any time of the day. Uh, You call them, they'll be out midnight, you know, 4 a.m., whatever. You got to pay for that. That's, That's not free, right? Like, nope. Um, that's a service. So they have, you know, they literally, you know, everybody uses capacitors, right? You know, Bob's charged 150 bucks for his capacitor for Miss Libby and the other companies in the 250 range, 300 range. They're barely even making anything on that. And she's, I, I, I literally explained all that to her. I was like, you just need a middle of the road company to service it. You know, some people need the high end company. They just feel comfortable with, right? It's not about what's going on. It's about what they feel comfortable with. But, um, I just feel like homeowners don't understand that, how that works. So it's interesting. You bring that topic up because speaking of Memorial day, um, well, then there's that, right? Holiday. Yep. So Chris and I went to Memorial Day cookout at our friend um, down in close to you. Once we went out to dinner with a couple of weeks ago. And one of their two systems was acting up. And I laughed because uh, Kristen's girlfriend was like, yep, Hope Ryden's ready to talk shop. I said, I got you. <laughs> so dude i mean i literally got in the front door i barely had a beer in my hand and here we go yep well uh, <laughs> you know, he starts running me through everything 
he's got uh, those lovely L word units on his house. So I said, I'm sorry for that to even begin with. <laughs> um, yep. And, you know, I had that same conversation. I, I discussed, you know, the fly by night guy, the middle of the road guy. And then there's those big guys that you're going to pay a whole lot more money for. Um, you know, it's really, what do you want to do? Said I can yeah, you may you, get great service out of the big you know, guy. And, and you may. Now, in his case, he's got a big person, like, right around the corner. Right. They're legit the closest contractor even to them. Not just because of their size. They just geographically lucked out. Right. So, because of some of those things and, and everything else, I think that's who they ended up going with. Um, but, you know... We had, you know, four or five conversations throughout the day that, you know, morphed into discussing that. And, you know, it's it's the same thing. You know, you, you take them down the same path. And I said, look, I said, you know, there's there's guys that that one don't know how to price. Don't. Right. They may know what they're doing, but they don't know how to price. So in most cases, they I hate to say it. They might do good work, but they might not also exist next year. Right. I said, you know, you really, I said, you know, is this your forever home? Cause you know, then you start to want to talk about, well, you know, there's, there's base stuff and there's middle of the road and there's high end. And I said, well, you know, what's, what's the plan here? I said, the sales guy's going to ask you all these same questions. I said, but you actually need to really think about them before you get whacked between the eyes with them. Right. You know, so you know, I kind of just ran them through what I would do as a sales guy and kind of went from there. Yeah, I mean, you know, Miss Libby said, yeah, you know, Bob, Bob's up there at the, he's up there at the, the moose and he, and he services the moose lodge. So I just had him come over here and I'm like, well, that's cool. I mean, yeah, there's nothing against that. And, mm -mm. and he's, and she said, yeah, but he, he was over here one day and he was a hundred bucks for this and, and then it didn't and then it didn't last and then it was broke again then it was 200 the next time and and you know he's just slapping parts at it seeing what happens and yep. then she calls the company that installed that originally which is the large company and she never did sign up with their maintenance because it was expensive just yep. the same and so there was no late. I mean, also the homeowners don't realize half the time how their warranty works. Yep. I had to explain to her that it's a 10 year parts if it was registered and it doesn't matter who changed. Cause she's got a leaking coal now. So I said, it don't matter who changes that coal out. You just need to find somebody that can purchase it, you know, with a license, put it in, they're going to charge you, you know, labor, and all everybody's going to be different on that depending on their yep. size yep so i i just threw her a, a middle size company that i knew of that she could trust and you just got to stick with them right you gotta i mean you gotta trust what they say i mean yep. you can't keep shopping around i mean you gotta find somebody um and see bob couldn't come out on memorial day like he was jammed up. <laughs> so that's where you're going to run into that. Yep. And you, and you might have a guy, you know, like Ryan's dad, right? It's like, you know, he does good work and he gives you a fair price, but you may have to wait on him. That's yep. just, if it's hot, you're just in the queue there. You're getting in line. Um, and in most cases, if, if it's consistently been in the upper nineties and hot as crap and you call somebody and they can come immediately, there's That's probably good a real either. good reason why they can. <laughs> and you don't want to know what that reason is. It's probably because right. they don't know what the hell they're doing. That's right. Yep. So rolling into some more HVAC, I finally got the blue on app. Hey, I don't know if you've ever, Oh, I've got it. How does you go I through it? And, I haven't, really, I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've seen them on Instagram, and uh, they had a little get-together a couple doors up from us. 
um, guys were walking in with their hats on and stuff. So I, I looked into the app just to see what they had going on. Um, of course, the app and all those new things are that's a that's that's some new features they got. God, uh, that's all new stuff. Hundred and twenty, almost one hundred twenty-eight k. So they they've gained like twenty-five thousand people in the last month, which is insane. Well, and you have to call. They ask you a few questions. Like homeowners, you can't just download the app and then you got it, right? You gotta you gotta call and get a code from them. You know, they'll ask you if are you are you a distributor, are you a you know, a technician, are you a owner or whatever. Um so but what I, what I was looking at on there is their how their tech support works where they're just scattered all over the country, right? And it's general tech support for anything brand wise so you click you hit tech support within a minute or two they're calling you um and the reason why i'm kind of throwing them out there is because obviously i'm in tech support and i just thought that was that's pretty cool man that because there's a lot of guys out there that can't get their you know distributor tech support guy and they're just dead in the water yeah i mean we're going to have a lot more of that moving forward with the, with the young guys coming into the field, um, yeah. a new generation, whether they went to school or not, they're going to need some help. Um, old and young, you know what I mean? I, I remember when I was in the field and I'd come up on a unit, maybe the, I don't know, maybe it's a brand I didn't recognize or whatever. You can jump on there and pull the model, I mean, put the model in and, and pull up a a spec sheet, pull up a wiring diagram, you know, charging chart. Oh, trust me, it's it's You just can't just beneficial. Google that shit, man. No, it's because I'll tell you, I've spent, especially on the sales side, the amount of times that I've had to be get on Google and try to figure out what in the hell this model commercial is. spec carrier oh, unit or train unit or diagnosis, <laughs> whatever the hell it is because I'm just, I'm not used to their nomenclature. So I got to go figure it out. And then carriers, nomenclature is always funky with commercial. You got to be really careful with that, especially, you know, and that, yeah, you and send them a seven and a half ton. He's like, this is a three ton gas pack. You're like, what? <laughs> or it's oh, like, well, my bad. Or, you know, what you would think would be a six ton is actually the five. And what would be right. This is eight and a half or whatever funky size they might have had at the time. Um, yeah, I, I'd, have, I'd have loved to have had that no, you know, I mean, it's the a last great... nine years. So there's there's a lot of cool stuff in there. And I, I'd, I'd like to have a guy on the show and get one on here. Um, well, and I talked with, with Will, which we might be able to get him on here too. Yeah, there's a couple that are I've heard on some podcasts already. <laughs> HVAC Jerks had one on there, but... Um, yeah, I just think it's cool moving forward, you know, using the technology we have with the of course the forums are big on there. You can jump on a forum and you know a forum's wide open. So uh but I noticed a guy I'll say, Hey man, I'll click on the forum and just click on some of the problems that some of the guys are having and some of them may be super, super simple and there's always somebody that chimes in and says, Hey man, check for this or you should have voltage here and it's like well, that's cool i mean it's just another random tech um so it's a community you know what i mean um i like that that's we gotta have more of that moving forward for sure no that's um, the truth so what else have you had going on this week a little bit of we're back in the branch um honestly monday and today were pretty much as well monday not as bad but today it was just balls to the wall <laughs> i'll be honest yeah, I mean, it was it's, it's, it was, it's it was, hot man yeah and uh summer's still two weeks away but right <laughs> we had, well the thing is we had we had such a, a weird winter and such a kind of mild spring that you know we're just now seeing some heat so you know a lot of things 
right. that normally you'd catch a little bit earlier in the spring are all just now getting caught at the same time they're seeing all this other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I've had the... Uh, I'm trying to think of all the call what calls I've had. Man, I've had a lot of calls. Holy cow. Catching... So I've got 16 stores right now. Um, and I haven't missed anything. I'm still wrangling them all in. But... Uh, I'm not used to having to call a bunch of people back. It's a lot of it's a lot to keep track of. Well, yeah, I, I've had to call people back, and I hate doing that, but it is what it is. Um, you just kind of try to call them back in order. Yep. Because it's we're we're kind of we're running it. It's just my phone. It's just my cell. So there is no queue or you know, but. A lot of guys will text. I, I'll be on the phone with a guy, and he'll be looking. He'll be turning one on and trying to charge it, and I'll be texting with another guy fixing his stuff. So, yep. Um, but I've had a ton of twenty-four volt shorts and blown transformers. I don't know. I've had a lot of those the last couple of weeks. It was random. I mean. It's weird how it comes in a wave like that. Um, of the same call for yep. all over between two states, same call. I mean, what's up with that? Like, how do you explain that? I don't know. And these aren't manufacturer problems. These are like chewed thermostat wire, or but but it's just a wave of the same crap. Um, now there are rodents in every market I will say that <laughs> so uh yep <laughs> so the, I, the the one I was going to throw on here to have guys look at is I've had it three days in a row don't ask me why um air handler blower won't shut off just keeps running the the classic is I pull the thermostat off the wall. I've unplugged everything. It's still just running. But I keep finding the Nest will do it where it puts 24 volts on the white wire and it's actually cutting the strips on um, from the backing plate, like not the stat. So if your blower's running on just a 24 volt constant torque motor um take all your white wires loose and check them to common see if you got any kind of voltage there um uh, heck 12 volts 19 volts any of that will cut cut a blower on cut the strips on um god i've had a bunch of those which is just weird had several that are coming from from nest thermostats which not a big fan of but hey. i've i've had i've had a history of of systems that you know they put in these they put in multi-stage equipment maybe not inverter but they put in multi-stage stuff and they they put a nest in it with everything and then it's tracking stuff and dude it just it just doesn't work right half the time it yeah, really I doesn't mean, I've seen them where they don't, they don't want to energize the the Y and cooling. It's like a it, it's a short in the in the back plate, just the back plate, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, all right. So what you got? You got a little tech. You got a little yeah, technical. I threw, I threw stuff one up there today. Here. So uh, I had multiple. talk about that. I'm gonna grab a beer. I got to go 10 feet here, so... Oh, dang. I'm so close. You go. I'll talk about this and come back. All right. <laughs> um, so, an interesting one I've had here, uh, really, a lot of it was today and a few other days, but I've seen a lot of cases here lately where people are, are just finding a lot of, of undersized mobile home calls. And I've seen other distributors in our market and other markets that they're they're selling these 
you know, coils that they guarantee you're going to work with this three and a half ton system. And it's, and it's nothing but a, this tiny little three and a half ton coil with a piston on it. That's not even, there's, there's no surface area, even on the coil. And these houses are just not getting, they're not getting satisfied at all. I just can't do it. It can't, there's not enough surface area on the indoor coil for it to really cool properly. And it's in such a crappy high static situation that it's just, blowing past that tiny coal so fast it ain't working oh we gotta be talking about mobile homes oh yeah so ooh, nice i come in at a bad time no more land chart no well that was my last one i thought you said you had three left i thought i had three left but that was the he thought he had three left they already disappeared folks yeah they already disappeared <laughs> so what's going on with these mobile so homes? So I've gotten several calls here lately where guys are, are on three and a half ton systems. Right. And they've got these coils that say they're three, three to three and a half ton. But dude, there's no surface area on this coil. It's freaking 16 inches tall, 15, you know, 18 inches wide, 20 inches deep. No. Dude, there's no, it's not going to work for three and a half ton in these for houses. Me, these mobile I'm homes no won't satisfy at all. No, I'm I'm no engineer, but it's it's an A coil too, and yep. it it would have to to accommodate that. To me, it would have to be twenty five inches tall. At That's least. it. That's it. So the two the two slabs on there, unless no. they're really, unless they're three rows deep. Yep. I mean, you know what I mean. They're. Oh yeah. So three slabs on each side. I don't, they're not that. Yeah. So, so this guy that was calling me, um, today that found this first one, um, you know, he agreed with me too. He was going behind, you know, it's a couple of years old. It's never done right. Well, no shit. Um, so, you know, he quoted them, changing it, changing it, putting the right coil in it. We'll see what happens, but I'm sure they won't do it. Um, and then, he ran into another mobile home today. He was like, I guess it's mobile home day. Hmm. Um, and this thing, this is an entire mobile home park is done this way. The whole park. It has right. a cased coil put in there on top of the mobile home furnace. Uh, I kid you not. I kid you not. How does that work? It, it don't very well. No, it's, it's. And we're speaking of, I'm going to forward this bad boy to you right now. Well, I don't think any of those are even designed. Oh, they're not. And trust they're me, not. when you see the one that's in here, you will definitely know it wasn't designed for this crap. Oh, geez. Just wait. HVAC hacks going Here in. it comes. <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, wow. Yeah. No, that ain't going to work. No. <laughs> now, uh... I mean, I'm not a fan, but there is a right way to do the mobile home. I mean, yep. I, I hated the mobile home stuff, but... um, The static's so high, everything's got to be designed for that. Yep. The coal, the way the water sheds off the fins... So you just throw a regular coal in there, even if you take it out of the case. Um, I've seen it to where you can't slow the blower down enough. The water will just keep shedding off. It just keeps flying off. Like it won't track down the fins because it wasn't designed for that. No. That's static, right? And that's why we have high static, you know, pack units we have uh mini splits duct ducted that's high this static. high static you know we we've I mean, got units that are specific for this and um, he said man you should see the filter he's like i don't know why they change it they should just turn it around and get the other side dirty <laughs> right because <laughs> <laughs> they're they're just putting the freaking filter on top of this cased coal so maybe like a four by 18 part of it is even getting airflow. 
Wow. And this and dude, this entire mobile home park was done this way. It was done. Yeah, but you walk you walk into that, man. I'm <sighs> walking right out. Well, and and all the serial numbers are from 14, so everything in there's out of warranty. Wouldn't Ooh. have it. Wouldn't have had it anyway, because not a bit of it is matched. No, because it looks like all the coils and some of the outdoor units and some of the other stuff supposedly were surplus from a supplier or something that went out of business in another state that all got put in. I don't even know how the shit got here. Just bought it online, probably. Uh, that, that's all we can figure out. It's it's nuts. I used to like <laughs> to, uh, if it was up, up high enough off the ground, and it didn't have pigs. Uh, it didn't have pigs under it. Yeah, good call. Good call. <laughs> Watch out for those. They, um, will, they will root through a duck system in heartbeat. Yeah, we, we used to like <laughs> to put a pack on it and duck just redo the duck work. Yeah. Did that of course, that's times. pricey now. Um, Or you put a, a mobile home design brand in there. Yep. Was there two brands? You got Intertherm, you got Coleman. Oh, uh, Intertherm, Coleman, Coleman Mortex. Mortex. Uh, yeah, there's, put one there's, design there's for a it. couple other, but I think it depends on which part of the country you're in, is which one you see the most, really. Um, you know, I mean, then, I've seen air handlers that say they're designed for downflow in mobile homes, but it's like, hmm. Well, I, and I, I the just thing is, just. Well, just because it says you can put it in a mobile home doesn't mean you should. <laughs> There's a lot of things right. that just because you could do it doesn't mean you should. No. Um, no, it's it's interesting. Uh, and like I know we've said it a few times, I think we're going to see some interesting tech stuff in the next few years anyway. So much is... <laughs> between two years of terrible, you know, terrible workforces or, or not say terrible workforces, but like it's terrible being able to get a workforce. Um, right. Plus shortages of any, any other kind you could imagine. Um, <laughs> that, yeah. that guy that I was talking to today about that mobile home call, he, um, he used to, to run, run a business I, I worked with or not worked with that, that was one of my customers. And then, um, he and one of his or he and his partner kind of had a falling out and he got remarried, but then, you know, he had some family pass away. So they inherited some land and moved. And once they moved, they kind of were way out of, you know, the market he was in. So right. just thought maybe he'd do something else for a little while. But, um, unfortunately some things have happened that have seen him go, go back into, a full-time tech job and doing some other stuff because his wife's had some real bad health problems. Hmm. But, uh, you know, he was talking to me and, you know, about getting an updated price sheet. And I said, and I said, man, how much pricing and stuff have you seen in the last two years? And I said, <laughs> just, just because I'll be honest, you can't compare anything today with what you saw three years ago. He's like, Oh, I've heard. I said, well, just, no. I was like, be prepared. Not kidding. Because, you know, people ask me all the time, like, are you embarrassed to give that price? Yes, some days I, I'm getting that way. You but, should start giving guys a price sheet on and laminate it and write on there with a dry erase marker. Yeah, because by the time they got it, it'd be half erased, <laughs> which is about true because it'd be different. Yeah, oh, scratch that out, write this in there. Yeah, it's it's nuts, um, but he he he's always been a pretty good tech. Um, he was a really good business runner. Unfortunately, like I said, his he and his partner didn't didn't work out. But you know, I was, I was told him I said, "Well, man, I'm glad that you're back in this. Not for I'm not glad for the reasons you're back in it, but it's nice to get to work with you again a bit." Um which at some point you'll get to meet him too. Cause I know he's got, he's kind of got two in a way he's got two years of catch up to do because he went out of the market right before furnaces all went to constant torque and all that stuff changed. 
Right. So he's got to kind of relearn a little bit, some of his design and stuff, but also with, <laughs> I said, well, don't worry. You're going to learn it all and get to relearn it again in six months. He said, what? Yeah. I said, yeah, it, it's all going to change again. <laughs> well, I've been meaning to, uh, I signed up for a lot of these webinars for other brands that they were talking about their new M1 equipment, all that. And I haven't got to see any of them. I really I've, want to know what, what brands are changing. What? Yeah. This year. And, and if, if they're changing or re-rating or, you know, just for. Well, just do your knowledge. And I mean, and, and that's the same reason. Especially I want for to you. I mean, yep. you're going to have to watch for that. Because I've got a really, you know, I've always prided myself on really knowing what my competition offers so that I can counter it. Right. Well, you know, that was a lot of, that's, that was a lot of time figuring it all out. But uh, most of that's about to go out the window. Right. Well, we'll know January 1st what everybody's oh, yeah. doing, but you kind of want to know before then. I mean, yeah. Uh, it just seemed, did, did you get the vibe that a lot of this stuff that we're getting ready to experience down here, HVAC foodie is just kind of not experiencing it. <laughs> like the stuff that he puts in and works no. on, it's just not. Well, dude, looking at the stuff he puts in, I think it's already higher than what our top end commercial oh, yeah. crap's going to be anyway. So, I mean, he's well, he's and our commercials, in some ways. commercials not that's not really our market, but well, no, commercial is they're they're going to eventually try to get those Sears up, but um, <laughs> it's not really there yet. I mean, they're well, but dude, all the stuff that they're pushing into commercial going into next year. It's going to see, you know, because I mean, what base, base EER or IEER for commercials going up a good bit. Yep. You know, we're going to have most cases you're probably going to, I know gas is going to probably go all two stage. I know we still have some stuff that's single stage commercial. A lot of it's two stage gas, but some of it's still single, but I would say all of it's going to be two stage gas or, or more would be my guess. And then you're going to well, see. 17 seer packs coming down the line, 24, 25 for oh, brands. Yeah. Um, communicating. You know, have we have we seen anything about condensing packs yet? I thought we had that conversation, but I can't remember now. No, I haven't seen that. I mean. I think why, that's going to get forced. That, I think it's going to happen. I mean, why it, don't we have it? Because of water. It's got to be because of water. It's true. Um, they're, they're worried whatever fail safe they put in place to make sure it, it doesn't freeze is going to fail and it's going to freeze and then you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Cause depending on how much it freezes or where it does internally, it's going to shatter multiple things. It doesn't need to. I had a guy ask me today. He's like, can I put, can I put y'all's furnace in an attic? Y'all's condensing furnace. I said, Yep. Uh, yeah. He's like, well, what if it freezes? I was like, it freezes. I mean, there's there, thousands there's... of furnaces in the attic. Yeah. Um, you just have to, depending on your area, you got to treat it accordingly. Yeah. You know, you might have to wrap it in heat tape. I don't know. You might have to so insulate the three quarter line. You know, we would always, we always put a 10 foot heat tape on it. Plus, we'd insulate, like, the flu. Right. Which is also one of the reasons why I keep two and an eighth on Reflex in the store in Charlotte to this day. Is because, so, in this area, I've only yeah. seen single digits about five years ago when I first moved here. And I was in the field doing service. And the first four service calls were frozen water line outside you know drain line from yep. the furnace so i found that if you put one inch outside where if your drain exits the house and it's run out on the ground right um if you use one inch out there it will not it's it's too much pipe it won't freeze up and clog your 
your, you know, back your drain up. But three now, quarter. Are you doing well, it? I was gonna say, are you doing it where before you go through the wall or after? Just after, like yeah. if it's horizontal outside on the ground, you know how it turns down. Mm-hmm. Or, um, I switched that over to one inch PVC, and I have never had any trouble. But that only happens when it's single or teens for multiple days in a row. Then you'll have those furnace calls. But if it's 20s, you just don't see it. It's not yeah. cold. It's just not cold enough. It has to be single digits for me to get those calls. That's, that's I mean, it is what it is. And that don't happen here much. When's the last no, time you saw single it, digits? Not here. here in a while that I could even remember. Now, we've had some wind chill days that felt like single digits, but. Yeah. Phew. Um. All right. So, what else we got on the docket? Uh, let's see. Uh, went to the beach for a few days. Um, nice. Worked from the beach and got the side eye <laughs> the whole time. Um, <laughs> because of the dude, my phone, especially Thursday, and then like Friday, it was good until like right when we had to start getting ready for the wedding. Cause we, we, so we were at the beach for, uh, our buddy Rowdy's wedding. Um, but, uh, dude, like the hour and a half, like when we were trying to get ready for the wedding, my phone would not stop. It's just like, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> this guy was like, back. oh man. And the, the guy was calling me like, Hey, can you guys get me a delivery today? It's like three 30 on a Friday. I was like, dude, you know, I'm not there. I don't know. I was like, this is not me trying to put you off. But it's just, I'm five hours from the store. I have no right. idea what's going on there physically yeah, right now. I don't, I don't know. Um, and, you know, it, that was legit me not saying, I don't want to answer you. I just, I don't have the answer. <laughs> I mean, I was there. I could have told him probably yeah. not. Um, 3.30. So I think we worked out something and they came and grabbed it on Saturday. Hmm. Which... You know, we're not open on Saturdays, but you know what, guys? I said, we, we've we all been there. If there's a desperate need and it really needs to happen, you know, most of the time your sales rep's going to figure out a way to help you out. Yeah, good sales rep. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Good sales rep. The, pen, the, pen the pinnacle champion. The pinnacle of, <laughs> of the, yeah, whatever. Stop tooting my horn. Yep. I try really hard. I try to work really hard. Dennis does too. Which is why we like having our extra little bit of time to hang out with you guys. Which I know we probably right. bored you to death in this episode. Um, so oh, yeah, the, going on here. the wedding was good. Um, dude, the food. I, I'll be honest. Um, hats off to, to Rowdy and his bride because, dude, that might be the best food I've had at a wedding. Really? Yeah, like they had a they had a big old buffet. They had like shrimp and grits bar, and then they had um, like I love me some shrimp and grits, like uh, filet medallions, mashed potatoes and gravy. They had like mm. a au jus and then a a horseradish sauce. Dude, I don't think I've had better horseradish from any like fancy steak place anywhere. It was stupid good. And I laughed because I was talking to him the next day and I was like, man, did you try that? He's like, man, you're like the fifth person that's told me that stuff was good. And that's one of the few things I didn't eat. I said, like, how did you not eat that? Man, when you're in the wedding, you don't oh, get to experience no. any of that. No. But I was like, did you not have it at the tasting? Dude, when we got married, we had all this food. Everybody was like, God, oh, that food was amazing. <laughs> Tracy's nanny and all the grandmothers made it. We had like a pizza at the hotel, like, because you just you're it's just a whirlwind, man. Dude, Chris and I were so broke, we freaking cooked chili for our wedding, and then everybody gave Dad the credit for it because he was stirring it at the wedding. We're like, really? <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> and dude, dude, he didn't skip a beat either. He just sat there stirring it like, yep, taught them everything they know. <laughs> yeah, I see your dad. <laughs> This this chili stirrer stirrer. Oh jeez, it's too funny. So, 
So I'm going to experience my new property this weekend. Nice. Um, About time. I am going tent camping on the property. Sweet. I'm going to try it out. Whoever's living in that neighborhood currently is going to be like, WTF is going <laughs> on here. Uh, well, the, you know, the president of the HOA said I could do it. Um, well, what you should do the next day is you should just get out some stuff that looks like you're surveying. <laughs> and be like, Kylie, go right? over there and put this stake in the ground. <laughs> Make sure it's got a nice pink tape on it. Everybody can see. Yeah, I mean, my kids are pumped, man. We're going to tent camp. It's supposed to be a high of like 80, which would be nice. Yeah, that's not um, bad. It should be good and cool in the evening tonight. I've got all my camping gear out that I haven't touched in 15 years, and it's, God, it's struggling. You're like, man, we might have to go to Academy or, or Dick's before we take Jeez. off up there. Bass Pro Shop, let's roll. Well, yeah, of course right you got a, going a little you camping got, trip. You got the Cabela's yes. right there. You're good. I got a Cabela's. Yeah, right here. Which is still bad for a shot, pretty much. But uh Yeah. No, I've been crushing some Amazon. Um I had to re up a lot of camping stuff. But yeah, so I uh I popped in there this weekend to see what where are we going to set a tent up? And I haven't been there in the summer. And I pull up and I'm like, holy crap, <laughs> the grass is waist high. So I got a friend of mine's dad's going to go by there and bush hog it. So we'll see how that goes. He's supposed to do that Thursday at some point. Friday we're showing up. We're going to hope he's done it. I don't know. Um, he said, yeah, I'll knock it down for you. Mm. So yeah, that'll be cool. Check out the, check out the neighborhood, which there's no houses in there, but around me, it's not like, I feel like people are picturing me like <laughs> setting up a tent, a subdivision on a quarter yeah. acre lot, like a house next to me and a house across the street. No, nah, it's a, hey, you it's can an wish, acre you and a half. out there. <laughs> yeah, there's no houses around on this property, but I've heard it's really dark in there at night, so that'd be <laughs> cool. Kylie's, uh, she's dreading that a little bit. Are you going to take her snap hunting? Take her snap, yeah, that's what Corey <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole family's going. Corey's going. He took off work. Can't believe I'm dragging the 17-year-old camping. Then I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm glad he's, that he's still I'm glad that you have instilled a little bit of old school appreciation for stuff in him. Oh yeah, he's uh of course my buddy Spence is going who is the uh you know, Miller Lite champion. So I Corey's prefer like, a different gold top. <laughs> Corey's like I ain't missing him camping for a minute. No joke. <laughs> so I've got to play this clip here. It's going to drag us into our last segment. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Um, let me let me get it pulled up here. My wife sent me this. So this is uh this is a TikTok clip. It's good audio. You don't you don't have to see it. Um, <laughs> let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Make us making a sound like blam 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 it's frosted nips, heating and cooling. <laughs> so you said it ain't blowing cold air and it's make a, making a sound like blah, 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 Oh, gosh. Frosted nips. Dude, I swear I think there's a company actually called Frosted Nips. Pretty sure. <laughs> Man, this guy. <laughs> he's, 
<laughs> so I get I get these calls. So this is this last little segment here. We're gonna see what kind of stereotypes we get into. Oh, um, that was uh, obviously Southern HVAC heating and air companies. Heat and air. Um, our Canadian listeners are just cringing right now. But <laughs> that's what we got. That's what we got going on down here. Um. What kind of what kind of stereotypes you got <laughs> that you? <sighs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> I, I'm trying to even think where to start. I mean, now, on the tech support side, I get that right. He's like, man, this thing was making a sound, and then they'll try to give me the sound, and I'm like, of course, you know, I'm the sound champion for AJ. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I guess I'm like, I guess wait a minute, I was could, it like I no, guess I could like, talk Bang. uh Yeah, I know. I guess I could talk the stereotypes as the way people call an order. We do it that way. That's yep. always an interesting one. Because I've got the one guy that's the mind reader or thinks I'm the mind reader. So he'll give me like three things and then I'll read him those three back and he'll wonder why I didn't put this, this, and this with it. I'm like, Well, you didn't say that. Yeah, like uh, yeah. he won't tell you the equipment. He's like, "Well, I need uh here the carrier that's in there is this." I'm like, "Okay." So, you know, so there's that other guy. Then there's the one that wants to read me everyone else's model number, and I tell him what it is. Right. <laughs> that one. Um. There's the guy that wants me to do his load calc for him. Because we've got Design Star and we can do that quick, apparently. Well, I feel like that's become <sighs> what, what? Why is that not on the contractor anymore, uh, dude? I don't know. I get, and, and the thing is, it's like, and I know you want to help and be, uh, yeah, and, and I do. Um, but you know, there's a there's a line there where I said, well, you know, I'm doing it. I said, but every in, bit of information I'm putting in here, I'm asking the question, and you're having me put it in here. And when I send you this report. Your name's the one that's on it. Right. <laughs> I would want to look back over that. Yeah. If I was a you know, it's I just. Mean. Um, you know, that, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Um, trying to think what else. Then there's always the, well, what would you do guy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I get that, obviously. Yep. But the ones that are asking you that. That's that's what's always interesting to me. It's like, well, you're the one that, that got the license, man. Right. Well, a lot of those, a lot of the guys you have know your background. So. Oh, yeah. And I, and I get that. And that's, and that's different. Like, I'm, there's, there are a lot of, of, of stereotypes I'm probably naming out that, other reps don't deal with because not ever, not every reps was born bred and corn fed this stuff the way <laughs> I was. Right. Right. And, and trust me, there's, there's still a lot. I don't know. That's the reason I have guys like Dennis for when I don't know. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of, you're my S Y A constantly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. I mean, the the podcast or the uh, not the podcast, the HVAC stereotypes are. Uh, that's a, that's a whole other. You don't want to talk about going down a tangent. There's a bunch of them, <laughs> and I think I think it's cool how it's so different in each town. Um, I've said that on here before, just from state to state. Uh, we never had him on the show, but we had the guy that strolled into the into the store that called Mastic Pookie. You know. Yep. Yep. That was kind of bizarre. He never even answered me. That irritated the crap out of me. I was like, man, you yeah. came in here and you had like this great 30 minute conversation with us. And then you it wouldn't even answer a phone call or an email. Really? Mm -mm. Come on, man. Not cool. So. Yeah, I may come up with some and post them on Instagram. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The handometer, the, the. 
Oh, that's that's classic. Well, well, well. That that's just going into a. Yeah, that's, know, not our, 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 that's not even a stereotype. That's just funny things we talk about, like the handometer or the beer can cold or whatever. Which I right. saw. Uh, sweatshirts um, coming soon. Sweatshirts coming soon. <laughs> um, no, I saw. Uh, who was it? Sarah, nerd, uh, nerdy girl mechanic, posted a beer can cold on something today in a laugh. Oh yeah. All right, so. We've been doing this at the end of our shows, right? Go listen to some other podcasts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, shout out to HVAC Know It All. He uh, he started following us on Instagram. I told him I appreciated that, and yep, he is do. obviously throwing the knowledge out there for sure. Um, we make sure to have enough bullshit in our show so that he can be purely technical, <laughs> right? <laughs> get yeah, you know, that way you get your money's worth both ways. Yeah, I feel like when I, I don't know, taking tech calls all day long for tech support. That's the the last thing we want to talk about. Talk about it right on here all night. It's like, hmm. I mean, I like to save some of the good ones, but it's different than working in it all day. Well, and and that's the thing. Like, there's, I like having it physically working on it. Exactly. I like that we get to just relax and talk about the industry as opposed to just you know what I mean trying to get right. those trying to figure out how to say that but you know what I mean um, because yeah there's there's a lot of other there's a lot of podcasts but I feel like the majority of them revolve around being a bit more technical and I like just being able to hang about and talk about HVAC life but also talk about the fact that we attempt to have a life outside of it too right even though you're a sales guy, yeah. we got a sales guy on here. I mean, yep, and who's uh, got a sales guy on their show? Yeah, well, that's also, Nobody. yep, and that's why we're recording at midnight because my phone has finally stopped ringing. <laughs> <laughs> so we got HVAC Uncensored with Gil. Yep, Gil's Gil's a great guy. Um, he's had, I swear, I've been, I know we've been the last few weeks, we've been so busy, I've hardly even had a chance to catch up on a lot of people's recent shows. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I, my truck, I get in, there's just four, uh, four play golf podcast starts playing or HVAC know it all or, you know, HVAC jerks. They got some little short ones on there you can listen to. Um, so, yeah, go check all that stuff out. It's... I feel like it's better to ride around and listen to that than music while you're working. It just keeps your mind fresh. Yep. Um, I well, wish I would have done more of that. I just didn't even think about it. I didn't know it was out there when I was a tech. So, um, well, and I, how much really was it out there? You know, more than not. five or six years ago. I, I, right. I think. I think there were a few. I mean, some, some of these guys have been beating it, it yeah. around a pretty good way, pretty yeah. good time. But, but the, it really, I, I feel like the the online HVAC, I guess, social media scene. You know, the last two or three years, especially through lockdown, is where it really just seems to have kicked off. Right. From what I can see, maybe I'm wrong. Well, that's when ours started. That's, I mean, that's true. You know. Um, All right, well, yeah. it's literally midnight. Nice job, Ryden. Well, that's because we got on here Good late. Job. Can you imagine that? Can't believe that. Can't, yeah. The sales guy was late again. No comment. <laughs> no. This no beer's delicious. Comment. This beer is delicious. I love <laughs> hitchhikers. Hitchhikers are awesome. All right, thanks for listening, guys, and... Stay tuned. Our next episode after this one should be a pretty good one. Too. Oh, it should so. definitely be a good one. I have we, no I idea we what we're going to uh, talk about with him. We got <laughs> the, we got the sexiest man in HVAC coming on the show. Oh God! Oh God! Yep. <laughs> See if anybody catches that hint. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. man, it's. 
I don't know. It's going to be a fun show. I, I do, It's got to be a fun show. I don't know how it can't be a fun show. Right? That's kind of like, I couldn't imagine us not having fun with Foodie. I have a really hard time not imagining us having fun with this guy either. Yeah. Foodies was a great episode. I've been getting a ton of comments on that episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, it's the very end, but I do have to give one more shout out real quick. Um, Kristen's got a buddy that's that's Canadian. He is an mm-hmm. engineer. He builds bridges or works on bridges. Um, but he started listening to the show because we had Foodie on the show. And apparently, like, he's turned into a listener, which is actually, like, makes... I think it's really cool to have someone that's from outside of HVAC just enjoy listening to us. So that's, that made me feel good. I wanted to tell you that. Right. And I'm still trying to make it a golf podcast. So we're getting there. there. (laughs) We'll get there one day. I'll get to play golf again and then we'll have something to talk about. We just need to to find those ones that have the lights that are open till midnight. Yeah. They got that out in Raleigh. Sweet. It's It's, a night's play. I've played there. It's super weird. I bet. I got like a hot dog and a six pack of beer <laughs> and drove around the cart and it was just like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> like, Actually, I think you and I fully lit up. I think it you was called wicked. me when you were playing that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just not. I mean, it's all a little par threes, but um, I had to wait for like, I had to get a tea time. It was packed. It was really weird playing though that late but well yeah everybody thank you so much and i would just bullshit another five minutes because why not but uh that's right thank you so much yeah that's what i do sales guy will bullshit for money (laughs) yeah thanks for listening and uh we'll see y'all next time have a great week see ya